guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting Rain to episodes 56 of I Cut Friends. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Last show for today. We did it. It took 2 hours and 30 minutes, but we did it. You only want to know, like, my day was crazy today. I had a lot of things to do, and just... <laughs> That was the name of their friend's unit? But new, but Alicia, who knows how long that's gonna take? Goodbye for now. Hmm? Mm -hmm. But in a way, you did. You know, I gotta say that their story is, like, it is a tragic love story, even though, the, like, there are a lot of people who do shift these characters together. I have seen a lot of people shift the heck out of Aine and Mio because of reasons. I even ship Aine and Mio, but, like, Alicia and Hibiki, like, definitely, yes. They are very shippable. Uh, literally everyone who's all pairs are shippable. I mean, it happened in Stars, it's happened in OG, so... You know, whatever is after Friends, it's going to happen again. There's going to be character shit with other characters, and they're all going to look so good together. But Alicia and um, Hebe Heat, their tragic love story kind of reminds me of Romeo and Juliet in a way, except they don't die. They're still alive. They just haven't done their Friends unit stuff in Aikatsu in a really long time, so... Hopefully, maybe by episode 60, she finally says, okay, I'm done. I'm ready to be a friends unit again. That's all I want to see. See, the one thing I was going to ask, and this was kind of what happened and what, like, OG I got to, where you could have, like, two wings or gems or something like that. But I don't think that would happen, though. You don't qualify as my friend. Please forgive me. But then the thing that happened between then and now is because of the fact that you shown pure palette to her.
Mm-hmm. And I understand that because, you know, your country is first and everything else comes second. But still, if freaking cutting can balance being an ambassador and still kind of doing I got to do that too. There's no excuse for it. Except the one that you... Well, then you have to do it again. It's okay. It's scary. Oh. I gotta say, I do like the name of their friends unit. It's a really nice name. Between that and Love Me Tear. Mickey, that's okay. <laughs> Probably. Gust alone. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. But what are you two so afraid of? Like, I feel like Neos could be something about Pen somehow. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Yeah. So you want to go against them again, basically? <laughs> that means we can just see my girlfriend fly today, yes. Huh? <laughs> like, 
actual space or are we just like are you are you screwing with me? I didn't think we would have been going in space in episode fifty six. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Star Romance Wars? That sounds like something like Sakura Wars. Well, I think that'll be fine. Okay. Mhm. Mm because sometimes, you know, you have to do that. Oh my god, you're like so cute! Oh, that's so smart, you guys. Just switching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really, now it's, it's Star Wars. This was just Star Wars. When we just talk about how freaking cute they look together, like my god. I mean, I, it, it's really, the way they're rough doing it, like, Pure Palette is doing the modern aspect of it now, where it's basically now where the princesses fight with the prince, and then, you know, Love Me Tear is doing traditional, where the princesses fight is all, not all. Oh. 
all the gay in this episode. Like, all the Yuri. All the Yuri in this episode is just so good! Oh my god! Jesus, I can't! No! It's too sweet! There you go. Oh, she's so beautiful. Phoenix rising from the ashes. My God. Ah. See, every single time when I see her, I, I get reminded of, like, what one of my subs sent me on Snapchat. <laughs> like, the very first episode, I was like, mm -hmm, yeah. You're right on that. <laughs> when she made her grand entrance into the show. I need this song. It's too freaking good. Like, I just release the full four minute song. Like, please put it on iTunes. You probably have it on iTunes now. Heck, I'm waiting for freaking Sato Shin's new song for Idol Master to come out this week. <laughs>
And I'm guessing that's going to happen at 57. <laughs> well, dang. <laughs> of course, got it. <laughs> But that's not fair, though. I mean, come on. Not at least secretly, I kind of wish Cotton didn't tell her. But. <laughs> Stop being hard headed, please. Just listen to what they have to say. That's all that she needs to do. I mean, you know, honestly, like, he became, you are up there in the top tier best girl, like, list for me, you and freaking Micah are, like, Micah's still number one, he be going, like, it's slowly good enough that, like, no, Cotton's number one, um, Micah's two, and he be he's three, but I feel like Micah is going to be, um, trumped by he because I really like her a lot, she's as interesting, because, like, I remember just watching, like, the first episode and thinking this girl was going to be the Elsa wannabe of this, and, like, she's completely, like, gone away from that. She is very similar to Elsa, but not as, like, you know, wanting to be perfect and stuff, so I'm really glad about that, and I love the fact that in this episode, finally, we got to see the backstory from the past of Ivy Leaf, seeing them way before, like, everything, and during their last performance, even though they really didn't get to it and once Love Me Tier 1. But, like, Alicia, you don't have to be a B, and you're being a B, and I really want you to stop because, oh, girl, just listen to them. Hear them out. That's all you gotta do. But still, no matter what, she's not. I don't have a passport and I want a passport because I would love to leave the country. I would love to go somewhere else. I mean, you know, they say like here in, in the in the real world, you got to go to what, like a bank or something like that to get a passport. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. That's what my parents told me when I was a kid. But okay, so in 57, which yeah, 57, we're going to have a INA focus episode. And then we're, the, all three of them are finally going to go see Alicia. And then no matter what of all costs, they're not going to have her, um, them see her. But um, Hibiki's going to find a way. It's Hibiki. She, you know, even though the first time when she went, she didn't pursue more into it. But now because she has Aine and Mio by her side this time, she will pursue it a lot more. But I hate the fact that with this next episode, we're not really continuing where... Technically, we are continuing where 56 leads off, but I really thought with 57, we would have gone to go see her instead of having an INA focus episode, which is, I'm not going to say it's filler because last week's episode was, in my opinion, filler, even though it still did somewhat to the plot. It's just with this next episode, it's like, it makes me wonder why have... And I'm not, and I'm not saying this to be mean on like saying, oh, I hate Aine or anything like that. Aine is still one of my other favorite characters. But why have an Aine focused episode when you literally have this episode that's like a two parter? When we know this next episode, we're finally going to have Alicia and Hibiki finally talk this ish out because there's so much things that they need to really get out, and especially Hibiki and a little bit of Alicia because I feel like Alicia is not when they finally meet. Hini is going to do most of the talking, and Alicia is just going to listen. 
And I really don't want it like that. I really want Alicia to talk to her and sort their feelings out. But then, I don't know. I mean, so if it's not going to happen in 57, it's got to happen in 58. But I'm guessing because of the fact is that Aine officially does not have a passport, they have to do this INA focus episode so she can get her passport by the end of episode 57 so that by 58, leading slowly but surely almost to episode 60, um, they'll go and they'll finally talk to Alicia and just talk it out. And I do feel like maybe, possibly, Love Me Tear will also be there. Like, Cotton will be like, yeah, Mina, let's go. Come on, Wagaba, you come too. And they're there and the rest of the girls are still back at home, you know, trying to find their freaking gems which like i still said i'm gonna stay by my hat by bleh, my behalf even until we get to episode 25 and we get that new opening and that new ending that is when we're gonna find out if these four girls the only final four girls technically five if you add wakaba if they're going to get joel's i'm hoping and still the other rumor that I heard from one of my other subs but I mean this episode was really good I it just it makes me love Hibiki so much more and she's a really interesting girl and she has that spark that je ne sais quoi that I love about certain characters and specifically whether it's Aine or Mio it's just something that that spark that she has it, it's just amazing and then when she sings it's like godsend and just like yes but other than that guys that is my reaction to you towards episode 56 of my cutsy friends if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the mattress squad and of course i will see you guys all officially next time for episode 57 bye guys